reporting for Kids First, and today I'll be talking with Scarlett Estevez and J.R. Villarreal, stars of the new Disney Channel show Ultraviolet and the Black Scorpion. Scarlett is recognized for her role in Bunked, and J.R. is known for his role in Spare Parts. Now, let's talk with them about their new show. Hi, Scarlett. Hi, Mr. Villarreal. It is so nice to meet you. Hello. Nice Hi, to meet you. nice to meet you. Scarlett, congratulations on your second Disney show. How are you feeling returning to the network? And how are you feeling about this vibe of uh, Ultraviolet? Uh, thank you so much. Um, I mean, it's really, really exciting because, I mean, it's obviously exciting to be back and have a second show on the channel. Uh, but also, it's super nice because of how different the projects are that I got to do. And, you know, I'm really excited for people to get to see, you know, difference in the characters and all that type of stuff. So, yeah. I'm so excited. I really, really enjoyed this movie, this show. I'm so sorry. And Mr. Villarreal, congratulations on bringing to life this superhero, Black Scorpion. How are you feeling representing a character that comes from a Mexican background? Oh, I, I feel so proud. I'm, I'm, I'm so grateful and, and so proud um, to, to, to be Black Scorpion, to be representing my community and, and, and uh, to be, you know, Mexican-American superhero. I am so grateful. You have no idea. It, it, it's, I'm so happy that, that people are going to be able to see themselves represented in this way. I actually do see myself represented because I'm a Cuban. So as a Hispanic, being able to see a uh, Hispanic actors and characters represent in such a nice light way and that we can see each other like cr fighting crime i'm so proud of you guys oh, thank thanks. you so much that's, that's awesome that's, that's the best thing i could that's hear the best feedback you. we could have gotten so thank you oh no please and mr Villarreal, uncle cruz and scarlet you guys are just like a power duo what is it like working with scarlet to bring to life these two characters that have such an amazing bond but clash sometimes as superheroes it, it was the worst. I'm just kidding. No, it, was, <laughs> it was incredible. It was so easy to work with Scarlett. Um, she's such a professional. I like, I, I, you know, I'll never forget the first days, you know, just kind of being like so impressed, you know, just she exceeded any expectation I, I had of what it'd be like to work with her. And, and she definitely, you know, me puso las pilas. She made me work harder. You know, she made me be like really focused because she's so prepared and she's so on top of every note. They'll give her like 37 notes and she's like, okay. And I'm like, what? Can you write them down for me? Maybe I go look at them for a second. But <laughs> it was it was so awesome and easy to work with her. I felt like she was like a family member. You know, it was, it was awesome. Oh, that's amazing because we as an audience can see this beautiful relationship that the two members have differently from when they're fighting crime, but they're always family in the end. And Scarlett, just like JR said, you are like so on top of everything, which is a little bit different than Violet. I see myself more as Violet, that she's killing <laughs> all over the place. So what do you hope that audiences see themselves in Violet and how can they relate to her? Yeah, I mean, I think that Violet, something that's really special about her is she is such a relatable character. And I think a, a lot of people can relate to her in so many different aspects. I mean, you know, she is this girl who's just going through middle school and she's trying to figure out her way. And, you know, she hasn't exactly found, you know, her thing in life yet. She doesn't really know what she wants to do or who she wants to be, you know. And I think she's still trying to figure herself out. And I think that that's something that, you know, a lot of kids can relate to. And I think that's something that's really, really special about her. I absolutely relate to her, seeing her as like a teen just navigating life. And Mr. Villarreal, what do you hope that audiences see themselves in the show, but what do you hope that they take away as the season continues? Oh, I, I hope that they take away the, the heart of the show, the, the, the love of the show from, from, from the family, from the Rodriguez family, from ultraviolet from black scorpion from cruise from from violet um i think the heart of the show is is for me i think the biggest takeaway aside from it being so fun and 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 funny and adventurous and the scale of it and the the, the action and it's just so it's so much fun but i think the heart of the show the, the la familia the family aspect of it and it, it it's gonna touch a lot of people i feel like um not only our cultures, you know, Latino, Hispanics and and Latinx and, and specifically Mexican-Americans, Cuban-Americans, everyone. I, I think that dynamic is going to be relatable for everybody. 
it was relatable. I saw like my parents in your care in your characters and I saw myself in Violet and I haven't felt like that in a really long time. So to watch this show, I, I felt so honored and I'm so happy that you guys were able to bring these characters to life. And congratulations on Ultraviolet and Black Scorpion. Oh, thank, thank you. you. That's amazing. Thank you. That's awesome. Of course. Thank and it was so nice meeting you guys. So nice thank meeting you. you. Thank Bye. you for your kindness. Thank you. Thank you to Scarla Estevez and J.R. Villarreal for speaking with me. Ultraviolet and the Black Scorpion premieres only on Disney Channel June 3rd, 2022. I'm Heather Suarez reporting for Kids First. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to subscribe to our channel to get all of our newest reviews. And I'll see you guys soon. Bye. One's on me. Ultraviolet and Black Scorpion premiere event Friday, June 3rd on Disney Channel. Living La Vida Ultra.